Hi, it's Dr. Elisha Van Dusen with New Hope Chiropractic. Here are some reasons that you should not be wearing flip-flops, uh, which is a common practice during the summer. Well, number one, they expose your feet to bacteria, viral and fungal infections. And anytime your feet get especially filthy, like when you're wearing flip-flops, they're likely to get covered in some nasty things like staph, staphylococcus bacteria, which can irritate the skin in your foot, and, and in the best case, lead to uh, skin irritations or the worst case lead to amputation if there's an infection due to an open wound or even micro wounds from exfoliation or a recent pedicure or small cuts. Athletes foot an itchy fungal infection that's highly contagious is spread by contact with something that's contaminated and when you wander around with uh, flip-flops you're really in trouble if this fungus crosses your path and the same goes for the virus that causes warts, human papillomavirus. Flip-flops slow you down. Um, it's been found that flip-flop wearers take smaller steps than people who wear sneakers. They make you extra clumsy. Those short strides you take with flip-flops increase your risk of tripping. And uh, also, if you're driving a car with flip-flops, you don't have the same dexterity with your feet, and that can lead to errors with uh, pressing the pedals. Flip-flops destroy your heels because your heels hit the ground with more force. Um, when there's nothing but a, a small piece of plastic or foam separating your foot from the ground. So this increases the heel strike impact, which could end up causing pain, especially if you walk for long periods of time with them. They can cause terrible blisters when you have a thin strap of plastic uh, being the only thing that holds your shoe on. That stra strap rubs against the skin every time and uh, every time you take a step, and that can cause some serious irritation. They can permanently damage your toes. They cause hammer toes. When the, that's when the knuckles of your toes bend. And when you wear flip-flops, your toes need to work extra hard to keep the shoe in the foot, which can cause hammer toes over time. So if you want to avoid stiffness, pain, and potentially surgery, you'll stick with strappier sandals, ideally a pair with a, thin, a thick strap at the midfoot and one that goes behind your ankle. And um, that really helps a lot with um, offering better support. They mess with your posture, any super flat shoe that doesn't bend like your foot does when you walk barefoot will alter your biomechanics and your posture. They can cause shooting pains because you have uh, a greater inc incidence of flat feet and that cause, causes overcompensation and that can uh, cause problems with your posture. They can increase the likelihood of bunion formation as well because your toes have to work extra hard to keep the flip-flops on the feet and also they could be made of toxic materials from the plastic and the foam because um, uh, they're made of latex which many people are allergic to or plastic that contains BPA uh, toxin linked to various cancers so you don't want your skin to be in contact with that so think with uh, think about fabric or leather straps because they tend to be safer. So these are some reasons why you shouldn't wear flip-flops all the time, limit them, them to only occasional use, like uh, at the pool or the beach or the shower, but don't wear them all the time, especially if you're doing a lot of walking. And remember, New Hope Chiropractic, we're here to check your posture, and we can also adjust your ankles and feet if there are issues with them. So have a great and healthy day.